Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on two slot gasket. Um, in this exercise, we are going to edit the sketch and we will see the feature also will be edited. So we are going to um, edit this object by using these dimensions. And when we complete it, it should look like this. Okay, let's begin. First thing, we need to make a copy. So we can edit it. So since this is copy in our account, we can edit this object. So the first thing, we are going to click the sketch. Double click. And I'm going to click the front on the cube. And as you can see, there is no dimension. Now we're going to start to um, using the constraints and the dimension tool and we are going to make um, this blue color turn to black and we're going to use these values for that okay let's but let's begin so i'm going to use the dimension tool and i'm going to first dimension the diameter of the circle which is 120 And then when you check the sketch, um, these are parallel. These are parallel to each other and they are the same actually. So let's uh, use the constraints. So let's use the parallel constraint. So this is going to be parallel to this line. And this is already parallel and they all are supposed to be same length. So I'm going to just Go here and equal constraint. So this line is supposed to be same as this. And this line is supposed to be same as this one. Just zoom out. And this line is supposed to be same as this one. So they all same now. And these two lines are supposed to be parallel to each other. So I'm going to use the parallel constraint again. Parallel. But as you can see, uh, they're not parallel and this line is supposed to be perpendicular on this one. So let's use first this. So let's use uh, perpendicular constraint. So this line is supposed to be perpendicular on this one. And this line should be parallel with this. So it looks better now. Now. Uh, I'm going to use the dimension tool again and let's dimension these arcs. So the arc is supposed to be 95 millimeter and this line is supposed to be 95 millimeter. And then we have here the fillet arcs so we're gonna again dimension them too they all four of them the same you can see from the dimension so each one will be 25 millimeter 25 25 25 and 25 Okay, this part also done. And distance from the center of the circle to one side is supposed to be 175. And distance from here to all the way end is 350. And the height of the object is 120. As you can see, guys, it looks a lot better. And uh, since we put the old dimensions, now the color turns to black. Now we finished the first part. We're going to click finished. 
and as you can see these are supposed to be parallel right and we don't have the dimension on this part which is on the sketch 2 I'm gonna double click this sketch 2 now I'm gonna start the edit edit this geometry so the first thing these lines supposed to be parallel to here so I'm gonna use the parallel constraint this line supposed to parallel this okay looks better now uh, distance from the center to center of the shape to here is supposed to be so I'm gonna use the dimension tool again dimension distance from here to center is 60 millimeter distance from here to here is supposed to be 60 millimeter And distance from here to here is 25. Distance from here to here is 25. Now this, the height of this object is 20 height of this object is 20 now the last part is the length of this object from here to here is 50 here to here is 50. As you can see, these two shapes also turn the black. It means fully constrained. So I can just click the finish sketch and the geometry, the feature also edit it. And I'm gonna go to click the isometric. So it is completed. Let's check it. Is it correct? Yeah, exactly the same. Thank you.